Hello, boys and girls. Okay, so you're probably checking this video out because you are very new to uh, visual effects or after effects in general, uh, or you have a curiosity about after effects and uh, you have no idea what any of this stuff is. Um, I'm here to clarify for you and give you a launching pad to go further in your endeavors in the visual effects and animation field. So first things first, let's take a quick look at what After Effects is. Um, that is the software right there. Uh, this screen right here will basically be what you see when you open up After Effects. Uh, there's all these panels, there's all this stuff. We'll cover this in future tutorials. But for now, just know that it is a software and it is a visual effects motion graphics software that allows you to take many different elements or create your own elements within it and it is used heavily within the TV and film industry. Now in the TV industry, it tends to be uh, the top dog, the reigning supreme software, uh, with other softwares kind of trailing behind it. Whereas in the film industry, um, this is one of the Swiss Army knives that they use, but the film industry, they use a lot of different softwares. Um, and I'll show you a couple of those in a second. So let's check out where you get this stuff from. You go to adobe.com and uh, we can actually go to the front page here. Here we go, there's adobe.com. And uh, we can go to the products page, scroll down here to After Effects. And After Effects is one of many of their softwares. Adobe makes you know Photoshop and Adobe Reader and Flash and all this other stuff. Um, whoa, did I click the right thing? No, there we go, After Effects. So um, for the most part, it is, uh, it is an Adobe software. Uh, another new thing that's come out with, uh, no, I don't wanna chat with them right now. New thing that's come out with uh, Adobe is that they allow you to rent the software by month. So if you're fairly new to this and you don't wanna Mac down like $700 for their Adobe software, After Effects, whatever, or their $2,000 bundle of all the other softwares, you can rent it for $19.99 a month. And I'm not trying to sell you on this, I'm just kind of giving you some options here. Uh, After Effects is a great software. I use it exclusively when I'm doing visual effects. I have used other software such as Shake and Nuke. Um, Shake is the old school software that Apple used to make that they've abandoned. Um, which was a major, major mistake on Apple's part, just another mistake that they, they apparently do. Um, they kind of abandoned the Final Cut Pro 7 software as well. And the problem with that is that uh, that was the industry standard. So After Effects kind of filled the niche, but they were there since the beginning, basically, of uh, the digital age. When it comes down to who's the reigning supreme in feature films right now, that would be Nuke, and that's made by the Foundry. And Nuke kind of got their start making a bunch of plugins and tracking softwares and stuff like that. Um, for After Effects, and then they licensed out their software to other manufacturers, and uh, now they make the Nuke, or Nuke, or Nuke X here. Uh, basically, this is, and you can see by these pictures that they keep showing on their website, uh, one of the industry's top uh, softwares. Uh, and I'm not trying to confuse you here, After Effects is amazing, Nuke is amazing, it's just, uh, you know, just some options for you. I prefer After Effects, I have people that love using Nuke because it's node-based and After Effects isn't, it's more linear or non-linear. Um, now here's to throw even another wrench in the works, there's two other softwares that you might hear kind of roaming around, that would be TV Paint and Toon Boom. And uh, these, two, these two softwares are animation softwares that have capability to do some visual effects. Um, but mainly they are hand-drawn animation or cut-out animation softwares or in the case of like Toon Boom, tends to be more focused on like a flash style animation. So if you want to bypass flash completely and just do some flash animation, you can go straight to Toon Boom or TV Paint, or you can do a lot in After Effects. So that being said, um, stick around for our other tutorials and uh, we'll go deeper into the world of visual effects and After Effects. And uh, yeah, good hanging.